Today's topic is card marks floating on a mirror. Here we have an object which looks like something nonsense. Uh, wherever we see it, we cannot find any meaningful shape, appearances. However, when we put this on a horizontal mirror like that, then the card marks of trumps appears on the mirror. This is what I call the card marks floating on a mirror. This visual effect comes from the fact that the upper half is a real object shape and the lower half is a mirror image of the upper half. Please note that the Card marks are not symmetric with respect to the horizontal mirror, but we can <coughs> create this kind of appearances. When we rotate it like that, then the card marks comes to upside down. And if we rotate it again, then it comes to normal position. So today, let me describe how we can create this kind of object. For that purpose, let us review the ambiguous cylinders first. Until now, we have shown several <coughs> in several lectures the ambiguous cylinders such as circular rectangle, the appearance of this object from this view directions looks like a circles connected in a ring structure but when we move it um, above the horizontal mirror the mirror image looks like the uh, rectangles and if we put it on the mirror we have this visual effect so the circles uh, changed to rectangles. And so we can understand that the <coughs> ambiguous cylinder visual effect can be generated using the horizontal mirror also instead of the vertical mirror. So um, <coughs> let me describe how we can construct this kind of object. Suppose that we have a gold shape, in this case the four card marks of the trumps, and we want to uh, create this shape when we put an object in, uh, on the <coughs> horizontal mirror. So for that purpose, we divide this gold shape um, by cutting it by the horizontal line into the upper half and the lower half. And the upper half is what we want to create uh, as a direct appearances of the object. And the lower half, we want to create it as a mirror image of the upper half. And when we reflect an object in the mirror, the upper side down appearance can be seen. And so we turn the lower half to the upper side down postures. And then we combine this shape and this shape to create an ambiguous cylinder by the method we have just described in several lectures, uh, several <laughs> previous lectures. And so, um, <coughs> uh, the, we put the resulting object on the horizontal mirror. Then the direct view, when we see it from the slanted directions, looks like this upper half. And the mirror image is the um, <coughs> in the mirror image the image is upside down and so the 
this appearance is upside down again and we can see the lower half of the goal shape so this is a way of constructing the this kind of object uh, because the direct view of the object and its mirror image all together give a meaningful shape we call this type of object um, <coughs> reflexively fused ambiguous cylinders or reflexively fused object and this is a way to construct that let me show several examples here we have an object which looks like something nonsense but if we put it on a mirror a butt appears here we have two object they looks like a uh, upper half of the human body and when we put it on the mirror the lower half of a man appears and the lower half of a woman appears so this kind of man and woman can also be constructed using a reflexively fused object the next example is a flower, five petal flower with a stick. It seems uh, the shape is completed. Uh, uh, in other words, this shape itself is meaningful, but when we put it on the mirror, the leaves appear. And the uh, <coughs> Uh, flower petals and leaves are not mirror symmetric, but we can construct this. The next example is this. It looks like a uh, fish. When we put it on a mirror, the fish changed to its bone. The last example is this. This is a flying bird, and when we put it on the mirror, I mean this is a bird catching a fish. But the fish is a little larger, and so it's a little unnatural. But that's what I wanted to, to make. <coughs> so this is the reflex reflexively fused object which I want to describe today. So finally, let me give a quiz. The reflexively refused object can be constructed in this way. Given the object, we separate it into the upper half and the lower half and uh, turn the lower half upside down and construct the <coughs> ambiguous cylinder object using the upper half and the upside down version of the lower half. And the question is, for what goal shape we can do this? Or what kind of shape can be uh, <coughs> realized as a uh, reflexively fused object? That is a question. Thank you very much.